Hey guys, it's Cole, Kentucky Power Sports. Just want to take a second to talk about this unicorn I have right here. This is the 2020 CRF 450R Works Edition. What is the Works Edition? Works is a term is generally reserved for a Honda race product or a factory race component. It's uh, something that the general public usually cannot get their hands on. Honda originally came out with this bike in 2019 as a very limited production run. Uh, they sold out super quick. Uh, us at Kentucky Power Sports, we wasn't able to get our hands on one in 2019, but when Honda said they was coming back out with 2020 models, we made sure to get our name on our list, and lo and behold, we actually got to get one. Uh, this is a very extremely limited production run. This is only one of 300. This is actually number 190. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to tell you the differences between this bike and a standard CRF 450R that you would buy off the showroom floor. Okay, one of the first things you'll notice on this bike are the graphics. Uh, the graphics are inspired by Honda's race team. As you can see by the HRC emblems on there, it is the graphics that they did run this year in their series. Uh, the red, white, and blue has always been a theme for Honda. They carried it onto this bike as well. Another thing you'll notice is the red number plate backgrounds. That is what they run on their factory race bikes instead of the factory white number plate backgrounds that you would buy on a standard model. Also you would know is the throttle jockey gripper seat. Uh, the, all the Honda guys all prefer gripper seats so they put it on this one as well. And as you get to the back you'll see all the factory sponsors they have on the rear fender. It's uh, something you get on this one as well to let you know that this was actually the works bike. For 2020 instead of just using Yoshimura slip-ons they decided to fuse a full head pipe that is a hand welded titanium Yoshimura head pipe. You can see the hand stamp that's on there to distinguish this between a standard CRF 450R. Uh, you can see where it splits and goes back into the dual exhaust. The dual exhaust in the rear has a carbon fiber end caps to help save weight, gives it a crazy good exhaust note. Another thing that makes the works edition so special is that it comes with a hand ported cylinder head from Honda Racing Company. Uh, what's that do? It's more power, it's more torque. You're getting the speed and the power that the pro racers have. This is something they've never done before. This is something that's works edition special. Honda just didn't improve the motor and horsepower on this model. They actually worked on the suspension so you could have an overall package. One of the first thing you noticed is the cashmere coat on the fork tubes that, that fills in the porous surface on the metal. Uh, makes it super slick, helps dissipate heat. Uh, on the fork legs, it's titanium nitrate coated. That helps uh, keep the fork super slick uh, on shock compression, shock rebound. It gives overall package that uh, you're not going to get on the standard models. Uh, leading down to the wheels, they are DID Dirt Star LTX models. Uh, they come in a, a special Dunlop Geo Max tire that's only available through your Honda dealers. The braking on the front it has a 260 millimeter oversized rotor helps you stop faster, helps uh, keep the rotor from heating up during the middle of a motocross race. Uh, all these things are options that make this different from your standard CRF450R model. You'll also notice on this bike that the rear shock shaft is titanium nitrate coated as well uh, for the same reasons as the front. It also has a little bit different uh, suspension settings on the rear, a uh, little, little more advanced than the standard CRF450R model. Let's take a second and talk about the controls. The first thing you'll know is that it has the Renthal Kevlar grips on it. Uh, they're a dual compound. They're super sticky. They'll last forever. They got the translucent color. makes them look pretty awesome. Another thing you'll see is they have went to a, a Renthal fat bar instead and with the big pad instead of having the crossbar pads like previous year models. Another thing that you can't see is that there's actually two different mounting locations on this triple clamp you can actually move your handlebars forward if you're a bigger guy and you need more room. Uh, it's just part of the ergonomics passage that makes this bike super special. Another thing you'll see, this bike is electric start. No more kicking. Uh, if you die kill it in the middle of a moto, super easy start back. Uh, the fuel injection, it, this bike is just so far advanced over previous year models. Another thing you can see over on the other side, you ask what all these switches are for. Well, one of them is what they call the HSTC. It's Honda Selectable Torque Control. has three modes on it. Uh, it spikes the torque curve on it, helps you give traction if certain 
tracks, you know, or slippery surfaces or hard slick surface, super loamy. You got three different modes to choose from. It also has all new revised engine mapping in the fuel injection and the ignition. It has three modes in it as well. It has a race mode, it has a trail mode, etc., etc. Uh, these are all things that help you control the bike, help you control the new power that the bike's producing, help you be a faster racer or a even faster trail rider if you're not into racing. Okay, so after looking at this bike, this bike's gonna appeal to a couple different people. Uh, uh, if you're a super hardcore racer who wants the best of the best, or maybe if you're a collector of uh, motorcycles that's gonna have a lot of value, this is gonna appeal to both of you guys. Like I said, this is extremely limited production run. We were very lucky to get our hands on one. This is one of 300. Uh, if you want it, you better get it because once they're gone, they're gone. And Honda has not said that they're making any for 2021. Nobody knows. So like I said, if you want this bike, if you want what Honda has to race, this is the closest thing you can get. Or if you want a bike that's gonna be worth a lot of money down the road, this is a bike for that as well. It's so coming out of Kentucky Power Sports. See me or Tom, and we'll get you on the latest bike that Honda has offered.